Welcome to My Garage, My Tools, My Rules. Today, I am going to be changing the spark plugs on a 2016 Honda CRV. But before we get started, there are a couple things you're going to need in order to do this job. You're going to need a 14 millimeter spark plug socket in order to even get the plugs out. This is a smaller socket than most spark plug sockets that I've even worked with. You also should have your spark plugs already. You'll see that I'm using the NGK brand spark plug, which most foreign and Honda cars use already. And the other socket that you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter socket in order to get the screws loose on the top of the engine. So, back to the task at hand. Let's add a little light. This is, again, my 2016 Honda CRV. And this is not a hard job to change the spark plugs if you already have all the tools you need to do the job. Now up top, there are five screws. I've already loosened them up to quicken up the video. So one, two, three, four, and five. And make sure you put your screws in a secure place so you do not lose them or so that they don't fall down into the engine. I'm now removing the top cover, which will expose the spark plug wiring harness. I've already taken the screws loose that holds the wiring harness that plugs into the spark plugs in the engine block. So I'm gonna take those four screws out now also, placing them in a secure place. Now you'll see that the wiring harness, which is actually spark plug wires, they come loose. There's a little clip here, a little release clip. You wanna release that so that you can pull the wiring harness out. So I'm gonna put all of these to the side. Also, you need a long handled you need a ratchet, but you also need a long handle extension that your socket is going, your 14 millimeter socket is going to snap on to. Again, it's critical that you have the tools that you need in order to do the job. I'm gonna start, I'll start down here. I'll start with this spark plug. First spark plug. And yes, they were overdue for being changed. One of the things I want to stress to you about spark plugs and when you buy them from the automotive store, confirm that your spark plugs are actually new spark plugs. I purchased these the other day and when I went back, something told me, take a look at them. It didn't have a sleeve and the box looked like, had, looked like it had already been opened. But when I looked at the uh, sleeve of the spark plug, I saw that it was dirty and oily like it had been installed. So again, don't be bamboozled. Check your parts before you install them because people are pretty shady nowadays and they do virtually anything at your cost. Because then you install the parts and your vehicle won't be right. First plug is installed. Now we're on the second plug.
second spark plug. It's a little bad seat too. You want to hand tighten these first, get them going to make sure you're inserting the spark plug into the engine head correctly, because that would not be good if you would have damaged the threads. Third plug. Wow, pretty dirty, pretty crusty. The tip on the plug is worn a little bit, which can affect your performance and gas mileage. See that new pretty plug? Okay. Again, we're gonna hand insert and twist the plug down into the cylinder. Now that we got it going straight and crooked, straight, not crooked, we're gonna tighten it up. And when you're putting this back into, tighten this, tighten this plug back down, it should go very smoothly. If it's hard and giving you some problems, that plug is not straight. Last plug. Tip on that's kind of worn down a little bit too. Last plug. Hand tighten first. Make sure the plug is straight. Now that it's going in there straight, I can proceed to tightening down the spark plug. The spark plugs are already pre-gapped from the factory, so you don't need to gap these iridium plugs. Okay, pull that out. Now I'm going to reinsert, so start to reinsert the spark plug wires. Okay, we'll start with the furthest one away. Push that one in place. Push the second one, third, and fourth. Don't forget to fasten the wiring harness. Click that back in place. Now the four screws that I told you about earlier 10 millimeter socket is what you're going to need now to tighten those up. I'm going to switch to a short extension. This short extension makes it a little bit easier. We'll line these bad boys back up.
Okay, got that one going. Lined up, the first one. Make sure we get the second one lined up so that the screw will go in there without any problem. Let's go for the third one. It's lined up. Got that in there without any problem. And again, push down, make sure they're tight. You'll hear a little pop sometime when you push them down onto the spark plug. So I hand tighten all of these. And got them going. And we'll tighten them down. That is a 10 millimeter socket for all of these screws here. Get that snug. Second one. We'll tighten it down. Nice and snug. Third plug, tighten down. Fourth screw for the fourth plug, tighten down. Nice and tight, okay. Now, we're going to, that's all in place, the wiring harness, that snap back in place right here. We're gonna put the top cover for the spark plug, the cover, top of the engine that covers up the spark plug wiring harness assembly. Now we're gonna put these five screws back in that we took out earlier. These screws are also 10 millimeter. So hand tighten them first to make sure they're straight. Okay, 10, milli 10 millimeters socket again. We're tightening everything back in place. Third screw to be tightened. And again, there's only five screws holding this top cover in place that covers up the wiring harness for the spark plugs. tight and we're good to go so that's basically it for changing the spark plugs on a 2016 honda crv more to follow thank you